hello in this video we are going to discuss about the top bar what are these things over here so let's quickly go through it so the first thing that you see is the blender icon it gives you a link to the splash screen about blender install application template and some other things system related information is here okay so as such immediately nothing much of use is here you can just get to know about the blender or you can get to see the splash screen once again next is the file menu which is the standard menu in most of the applications here you can open a new file open existing files open recent recover some files save save as copy these are something to do with linking and appending your projects this we'll see later on you can import and export from different formats and some other things are there over here again we will see a few of the things as and when we work then you have edit again you have undo undo history is there undo redo repeat last repeat something you can search for commands from here okay, that gives you a pop-up menu so you can search for different functionality directly from here and it also has a preferences section we can set some preferences for blender over here this also we will see once we are working later on render is basically uh, the interesting aspect of blender where you could actually see what will be the output like if this particular scene over here we want to see the output how the final project looks like so it will show you the rendered output okay so you could render image render animation render the audio if there is some audio view the previous render and so on then next we have window this is interesting you can create a copy of this window and both will be having the same project and you can have multiple views but that is only useful if you are going to have multiple monitors so there is some stuff relating to windows you can take screenshots and other things for your work then the standard help menu links to manual tutorial support and so many other things so this is the basic standard menu that you might come across most of the applications and blender also has the same thing over here and obviously certain things are associated with blender only then what we have over here is different layouts so as i had mentioned earlier also blender can do a lot of different things over here so the default layout is working with the 3d objects over here that is the default layout we have a layout for modeling where you can edit your object completely now this is generally when we toggle between object mode and edit mode this will be seen so generally we'll be starting with this layout then sculpting is useful when you're going to sculpt like something to do with clay and all obviously this cube object is not suitable so for sculpting you will usually start with a new sculpting model where it gives you a better uh, object with high flexibility you can say then next we have uv editing where you can unwrap your object and see it basically this cube has been unwrapped in this way so it gives you an idea of the geometry texture painting looks similar but here you will be able to easily paint the objects different areas with respect to this design then shading is about creating materials and all how the material will look you can see it over here then there is a one for animation if you're going to get into animation it shows you certain parts over here then there is a rendering output compositing output and geometry nodes and scripting B blender allows you to do a lot of python scripting that you can do over here so a lot of these things are there we are more interested right now by default in the layout one this is where we'll be working and we will see how we can adjust and manage these areas now talked about this the next part here is scenes you can have multiple scenes this is the default scene you could create another scene name it something and work between two scenes in blenders right two different scenes just like you have one scene going in here one scene going there so you can create multiple scenes over here then this is something to do with the layers and other things that we will be creating so if there are more layers you will be able to select again as mentioned earlier these things will be clearer as we 
work and with respect to a particular topic or something this will make much more sense later on so we'll be dealing with these things one by one this is just an overview so just to keep in mind so that is all about the top bar next we will be discussing about the other areas